in a verdict that is being seen as having enhanced the voters' right to know just how political parties are funded, the Supreme Court, in a landmark verdict, has struck down the contentious electoral bond scheme under which corporates could donate to, the, to political parties but the names could not be revealed. The big takeaways. The electoral bond scheme has been declared unconstitutional. The State Bank of India has been asked to stop issuing these bonds with immediate effect. State Bank of India will now have to give details and donors and donations to the Election Commission of all donations since 2019 by March 6th. The Election Commission then has to put the details of these donors and donations on their website by the 13th of March. Political parties have to return the bonds that have not been encashed as yet. Will this verdict then change the way politics is fought in the country? Or will cash continue to flourish? Is this really a solution to the problem? Take a look at our top story. A seven-year-old election funding system scrapped. The Supreme Court has ruled electoral bonds to be unconstitutional. The electoral bond scheme and the impugned provisions to the extent that they infringe upon the right to information of the voter by anonymizing contributions through electoral bonds are violative of Article 19.1a. We have applied the proportionality standard to determine if the infringement of the right to information is justified. Introduced in 2017 and first sold in 2018, the secretive electoral bonds were touted as revolutionary for political donations. Critics argued that the anonymity provided by the scheme led to corruption and an unfair advantage among political parties. At a primary level, political contributions give a seat at the table to the contributor. That is, it enhances access to legislators. This access also translates into influence over policy making. The top court said that the scheme is unconstitutional and violative of Article 19.1a of the Indian Constitution. It further held that the amendments to the Companies Act, Representation of Peoples Act and RBI Act, which allowed uncapped corporate political funding, is also unconstitutional. Headed by the CGI, the five-judge bench directed the State Bank of India to cease issuing electoral bonds, reveal buyer identities and provide information on bond redemption by political parties. The Supreme Court's decision came in response to petitions challenging the amendments made by the Finance Act 2017 that established the electoral bond scheme. The Supreme Court has struck down the electoral bond scheme, comprehensively struck it down, and all the provisions that were made to bring it into effect in the Income Tax Act, in the Companies Act, etc., everything has been struck down. They have also struck down the amendment made which allowed unlimited con political contribution uh, being made by companies to political parties. This ruling arrives nearly two months ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Ahead of the 2024 Lok Sabha polls, the Supreme Court by this verdict has put all the political parties on the same level playing field and this is only going to rake up more issues as we get closer to the elections this year. In New Delhi, with Kanu Sarda and Shrishti Oja, this is Nalini Sharma for India Today. And while the opposition has hailed the verdict and said it will expose the BJP's scams and crony capitalism, the BJP insists that all the electoral bonds were doing was ensuring that funding met methodologies were improved. Take a look. चुनाव में सुधार के लिए ये हमारी मोदी जी की सरकार का एक प्रयास नहीं था आपको याद होगा वोटर लिस्ट पर आपकी फोटो छपती है बड़ी संख्या में जो ईवीएम्स लाए गए उससे बूथ कैप्चरिंग बंद हुई है ना ये भी उसी प्रामाणिक प्रयास में चुनाव को पारदर्शी बनाने का प्रयास था अब माननीय सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने एक फैसला किया है तो हम उनका सम्मान करते हैं चुनाव आयोग हो वित्त मंत्रालय हो लॉ कमीशन हो लॉ मिनिस्ट्री हो इन सब ने अपने अपने स्तर पे जिनके जमीर जिंदा हैं उन अधिकारियों ने फाइल नोटिस में अपना विरोध दर्ज किया था उस विरोध को नजरअंदाज करते हुए किस तरह से यह थोपी गई इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड स्कीम इस देश पर यह हम सबने देखा 
आज प्रधानमंत्री एक्सपोज हो गए हैं बेनकाब हो गए हैं उनका भ्रष्टाचार बेनकाब हो गया 